Epic Chinese. 李博士中文 Basic Chinese with English translations, Unit Two, Section Three. 前和后 Before and after, front and back. 前和后可以用来表示时间 The words Qian and Hou can both be used to indicate time. 比如说，前天已经过去，后天还没有来临。For example, the day before yesterday has passed, and the day after tomorrow has not yet come. 以前指的是早于某个时间。The word Yi Qian means earlier than a certain time. 以后指的是晚于某个时间。While Yi Hou means later than a certain time. 可是前也可以用来表示还没有来临的事物。However, Qian can also be used to mean things that have not yet come. 比如说，还没有实现的境界是前景。For example, the state that has not yet been realized is the Qianjing. 还没有到达的境地是前程。The distance that has not yet been reached is the Qiancheng. 张伟不明白其中的道理，就去问老师。Zhang Wei didn't understand the truth about Qian and Hou, so he asked his teacher. 老师告诉他 ，The teacher told him， 前和后不仅可以用来表示时间，还可以用来表示方位。Qian and Hou can be used not only to indicate time， but also to indicate orientation。前表示你面对的方位。The word Qian means the position you are facing。如胸前、眼前、前方、前进。后表示你背对的方位，如背后。脑后、后方、后退。How means the position your back is facing? 张伟终于明白了。当你用前和后的时候，有时候取决于你面对过去还是面对未来。Zhang Wei finally understands that when you use Qian and Hou, sometimes it depends on whether you face the past or face the future. 零五二，不许你管她叫妈妈。You are not allowed to call her mom. 豆豆的妈妈外出办事，把豆豆暂时放在姐姐家照看。Dodo's mother went out to do errands and put Dodo in her sister's house temporarily. 豆豆只有一岁多，她分不清姨妈和妈妈。Dodo was only over one year old. He couldn't distinguish between his aunt and his mother. 他管姨妈叫妈妈。He called his aunt mom. 姨妈有一个小女儿，两岁。叫小毛。His aunt had a young daughter of two years old, named Xiao Mao. 小毛不让豆豆管自己的妈妈叫妈妈。Xiao Mao didn't let Dodo call her mother mom. 他说不许你管她叫妈妈，她是我妈妈。She said, "You are not allowed to call her mom. She is my mom." 豆豆对小毛说，她是我妈妈，不许你管她叫妈妈。Dodo said to Xiao Mao. She is my mom. You are not allowed to call her mom. 小毛对豆豆说，她是我妈妈，不是你妈妈。小毛 said to Dodo, "She is my mom, not your mom." 豆豆对小毛说，她不是你妈妈，她是我妈妈。Dodo said to Xiao Mao, "She is not your mom. She is my mom." 两个孩子争得不可开交时，豆豆的妈妈回来了。Dodo's mother came back when the two children were fighting over each other. Dodo 看看姨妈，再看看妈妈。Dodo looked at his aunt and then at his mother. 终于弄明白了，谁是妈妈，谁是姨妈。And finally figured out who was the mother and who was the aunt. 零五三，谁的地位高 ？Who has a higher status? 一位邻居问小明，你们家谁的地位最高 ？A neighbor asked Xiao Ming. Who has the highest status in your family? Xiao Ming said, "Mom's status is highest." Xiao Ming said, "Mom has the highest status." The neighbor asked Xiao Ming, "Second." The neighbor continued to ask Xiao Ming, "Who is next?" Xiao Ming said, "Of course it is me." Xiao Ming said, "Of course it is me." The neighbor then asked Xiao Ming, "Who is the third?" The neighbor then asked Xiao Ming, "Who is the third?" Xiao Ming said, "Mao Qiya." Xiao Ming said. Mao Qi is the third. Xiao Ming's father in the background heard this. When Xiao Ming's father heard this, he asked Xiao Ming, "Why is my position higher than Mao Qi?"
he asked Xiao Ming, Why is my position not as high as Mao Qi? Xiao Ming Xiao Ming replied, You are dead. Why are you still fighting for status with a cat? 054, 去美国读书, Go to the United States to study. When Xiao Qi was in her second year of high school in China, 让很多老师和同学都感到震惊的决定 She made a decision that shocked many teachers and classmates 她决定放弃高考,去美国读预备高中班 She decided to abandon the college entrance examination and go to the United States to study for preparatory high school 老师和同学都为她担心 Teachers and classmates are worried for her 中国和美国的教育制度不同 China and the United States have different education systems and the education methods are also very different. In addition, she has not really passed the English test. Can she go to the United States to study? Indeed, when Xiao Qi first arrived in the United States, what she was most unaccustomed to was class discussions. She is introverted and afraid of making mistakes in discussions, so she rarely speaks. At the end of a semester, her grades are low in all subjects that need presentation in class. 老师找她谈话, 鼓励她上课踊跃发言. The teacher asks her to talk and encourages her to speak actively in class. 在美国, 学生平时学习成绩是要部分作为日后大学录取的依据的。In the United States, students' average academic performance is part of the basis for future university admissions. 小齐决心迎难而上, 勇敢地开口发言。Xiao Qi is determined to face the difficulties and speaks in class bravely. 不久,他就发现,自己的知识水平并不比美国同学差。Soon, she discovers that her level of knowledge is not worse than her American classmates. 建立了信心之后,他变得自信多了,并逐渐地开始适应美式教育。After building up her confidence, she becomes more confident and gradually begins to adapt to American education. 055,小猎鹰的鸡妈妈 Little Falcon's hen mother 一位哈萨克猎人饲养了两只猎鹰 A Kazakh hunter keeps two falcons 其中的雌鹰产了两枚卵 And the female eagle lays two eggs 不知为什么,这只雌鹰拒绝孵化自己产的卵 For some reason this female eagle refuses to hatch her own eggs. The hunter has to find a surrogate mother for these two eggs. The hunter has found a brooding hen in the village and mixed the two eagle eggs into the eggs for the hen to hatch. The the hen can't distinguish eggs of the falcon from its own eggs. It faithfully fulfills the mother's duties. And finally hatches both her eggs and the eagle's eggs into chicks and small eagles. How different are the newly hatched chicks and the little eagles? 小鸡睁开眼睛,就能四处走动。自己觅食, the chicks open their eyes and can walk around and find food on their own. 而小鹰却紧闭着眼睛, 张开嘴, while the small eagles close their eyes and open their mouths. 需要猎人给他们喂食, requiring the hunters to feed them. 056, 主动追求, Does it degrade yourself when you court a boy? 关于这个问题, On this issue, Miss Chi has her own views. 她说, she said, the first thing to consider is what kind of person the boy is. 如果男生有学养, 有风度, 
而且善解人意。If the boy is educated, behaves with grace, and is considerate, 我就会主动出击去追求他。She will take the initiative to court him. 男女恋爱的世界遵循丛林原则。The world of love between men and women follows the jungle principle. 即优胜劣败。That is, the superiors win and the inferiors lose. 对于心仪的男生，会有很多女性追求。There will be many girls to court boys they like. 你要是追求，你就有可能胜出。If you court a boy, you are likely to win. 你要是不去追求，原本可能属于你的男生就绝对与你失之交臂。If you don't court him, you will definitely miss the boy who might be your boyfriend. 女生主动追求，男生并不掉价。Girls who take the initiative to court boys will not degrade themselves. 但要掌握好。主动的度 ，But they must master the degree of the initiative. 正确的策略是，先释放一些对该男士有好感的信号。The correct strategy is to first release some signals of a good impression on the boy. 含蓄的告诉那个男士 ，And implicitly tell him, 我感觉你不错，是我心仪的类型。I feel that you are good, the type I like. 我不设防，你可以大胆的追求我了。I am not defending. You can boldly court me. 零五七，美丽动人。Beautiful frozen person. 冬天，蓝女士腿上就穿一条连裤袜。In winter, Ms. Lan wears only a pair of pantyhose on her legs. 北风呼啸，看上去有点寒冷难耐。The north wind whizzes, and she looks unable to tolerate the coldness. 同事老莫对她说。Lao Mo, a colleague. Says to her, "You 穿得这么单薄，真是美丽动人啊。You dress so thin, and you are so beautiful." 从老莫暧昧的语气判断 ，Judging from Lao Mo's ambiguous tone, 他分明是取笑蓝女士为了显示女性的美丽而甘愿忍受天气的寒冷。He is clearly making fun of Ms. Lan for showing a woman's beauty and for being willing to tolerate the cold weather. Lan 女士对老莫说 ，Lan said to Lao Mo, "You 以为女生都傻呀 ？Do you think women are foolish? 我们还是知道冷暖的。We are of course aware of coldness and warmth. 这种裤袜是深冬款，很厚，很保暖。This kind of pantyhose is a winter model. They are very thick and very warm. 现在天气的确很寒冷。The weather is indeed very cold now. 不过家里、学校和公共场所都有暖气供应，不会受冻。But in homes, schools, and public places, there are all heating, so you won't get cold. 穿这种裤袜在户外短时间活动也是没有问题的。Wearing this kind of pantyhose for short-term outdoor activities is no problem. 我们穿的美丽，但是却不会动人。We dress beautifully, but we are not frozen person. 老莫说：“但愿如此。” Lao Mo says, "I hope so." 冬天，女性还是应该穿得保暖一些。In winter, women should still dress warmly. 不能为了美丽而忽略腿部的保健。And can't ignore leg health in exchange for beauty. 不然，就真的美丽动人了。Otherwise, you will be a really beautiful frozen person. 零五八。你认同男方必须有婚房才能结婚吗 ？Do you agree with the idea that a bridegroom must have a house before getting married? 当今社会生活中，男方准备的婚房似乎成了婚姻的标配。In today's social life, the house of wedding bought by the bridegroom seems to be a must for marriage. 没有婚房的男士是根本不可能迎娶新娘的。And it is impossible for a bridegroom without a wedding house to marry a bride. 对此，林女士表示不认同。In this regard, Ms. Lin expressed her disagreement. 婚房不必是婚姻的前提。The house of wedding does not have to be a prerequisite for marriage. 但是不等于不看重男方的经济实力。But this does not mean that the bridegroom's financial strength is not valued. 男方至少要证明自己有买婚房的能力。The bridegroom must at least prove that he has the ability to buy a house for the wedding. 即使是在婚后购买。
even to buy it after the wedding. Otherwise, why should I marry someone who can't afford a wedding house? 没有经济能力的人不可能给我带来幸福生活。It is impossible for a person without financial means to bring me a happy life. 恋爱和婚姻都不可能是无米之炊。Neither love nor marriage can be cooking a meal without rice. 需要物质基础的保障。They require material support. 实质上,买婚房只是一个试金石。In essence, buying a wedding house is just a touchstone. 林女士开玩笑说,婚姻中的女方不过是一颗小白菜。Ms. Lin jokes, saying that a woman in the marriage is just a small cabbage. 如果有一只猪想来拱小白菜。If a pig wants to munch the cabbage, 那么,这只猪必须证明有拱小白菜的能力。Then the pig must prove his ability to munch the cabbage. 零五九,孤独的老林父母亲。Lonely elderly parents. 中国已经进入老龄化社会。China has entered an aging society. 老龄化问题日益严重。And the aging problem is becoming more and more severe. 老龄化人口中相当大的一部分夫妻只有一个子女。A large proportion of couples in the aging population have only one child. 也就是所谓的独生子女。The so-called only son or daughter. 这些独生子女绝大多数已经长大成人。Most of these only son or daughter have grown up. 组建了自己的小家庭,有了自己的独生子女。Formed their own small families, and have their own only son or daughter. 如果他们跟夫妻双方的父母及自己的孩子住在一起。If they live with their parents and their child. 就是所谓的四二一家庭。it is a so-called 4-2-1 family. 即一个家庭里有四位老人,两个中年人,和一个孩子。Which means that there are four elderly people, two middle-aged people and one child in a family. 事实上,这种形态的家庭并非很多。In fact, there are not many families of this type. 在更多的情况下,老龄人是独自居住的。In most cases, the elderly parents live alone. 孩子长大离家,自立门户,老年父母就完成了养育儿女。Their child grew up, left home, and established his or her family. The elderly parents completed raising their child. 他们像完成了育雏的鸟儿。Just like the birds that have completed brooding. 当小鸟长成大鸟,飞离了青鸟的巢的时候。When the small birds grow up and fly away from their parents' nests, their homes become empty nest families. 很多生活在空巢家庭里的老龄人都是孤独的。Many elderly people living in empty nest families are lonely. 他们需要社会更多的关心和爱护。And they need more care and love from society. 零六零,学会拒绝。Learn to refuse. 生活中经常会有一些亲戚。朋友或熟人向你寻求帮助。In life, some relatives, friends, or acquaintances often ask you for help. 比如借钱,搬家,找关系,疏通关节办事等等。Such as borrowing money, moving house, finding ties with the authority to solve some problems, etc. 其中的一些请求,可能超出了你的能力范围,属于不情之请。Some of these requests may be beyond your ability. Unreasonable, and you are reluctant to do so. 在这种情况下,你是硬着头皮,承诺下来,还是拒绝呢? Do you bite the bullet to promise or do you refuse? 无论你承诺,还是拒绝,你都会觉得自己处于一种尴尬的境地。Whether you promise or refuse, you will feel that you are in an awkward position. 如果承诺帮助别人,If you promise to help others, 你却没有能力兑现,或自己的利益过于受损。You are not able to fulfill it, or your own interests are severely damaged. 如果拒绝帮助别人,If you refuse to help others, 你会担心伤及友谊和亲情。You will worry about hurting your friendship and family relationship. 甚至会产生一种莫名的内疚。And you will even have an inexplicable guilt. 
，心理学家告诫人们：当你能力不足以承诺那些不情之请的时候，要学会拒绝。Psychologists warn people that you must learn to refuse when you are not able to promise those unreasonable requests. 必要的拒绝是生活中的一种艺术。Necessary refusal is an art in life. 是你避免自己陷于尴尬境地的一种技巧。A technique for avoiding embarrassment. Thanks for watching. Questions are welcome. All copyrights are reserved.